Prim's algorithm for computing the minimum spanning tree of a graph. Now let's start off with some basic definitions. What is a spanning tree? A spanning tree is a subgraph that has the same vertex set as the original graph and is also a tree, which means that it must be connected and must not contain any cycles. A graph may have large number of spanning trees, but not all of them are minimum. A minimum spanning tree is the one in which the sum of weight of edges is minimum. For example, consider the given graph shown here. The edges highlighted in yellow are the edges of the spanning tree. Now both the trees shown here form one spanning tree because each of these contain four vertices, are connected and do not contain any cycles. But tree 2 here has a cost lower than tree T1. In fact, tree 2 is a minimum spanning tree. So the sum of weight of its edges would be lower than any other possible spanning tree of a graph. Steps for finding minimum spanning tree using Prim's algorithm. Well, it would be better if we try and understand each step one by one with the help of an example. So let's do that. Consider the given graph which has nine vertices V0 to V8. The numbers on the edges represent the weight of that edge. We need to obtain a minimum spanning tree of the given graph. The first step says create a MST set which contains all the vertices in the minimum spanning tree. Initially, the set will be empty of course. Let's look at step two. It says that initialize the key of all vertices except the source vertex to infinity. The source vertex is assigned key zero. Basically, the key of every vertex stores the weight of the minimum weighted edge it is connected to such that the other endpoint of that edge is a vertex in MST set. It will be clearer as we proceed through the example. The next step says that we need to pick a vertex U not in MST set with minimum key value. Since no vertex is in MST set initially, we need to look at all the vertices. Here, V0 has a key 0 while all other vertices have key infinite. So, V0 has the minimum key and hence it will be added to the R MST set. Now, here the vertices in red represent those vertices that are added to the MST set while those in orange represent all the vertices adjacent to our current vertex U which are not in MST set. According to the next step, we need to update the key values of all vertices adjacent to U which are V1 and V7 in this case. Now, how to update the key values? It's simple. If the weight of edge UV is less than the key of V, update the key value as weight of UV. We see that weight of edge 0, 1 is 4 while the key of 1 is still infinite. So, we will update the key of V1 to 4. Similarly, the weight of edge 0, 7 which is 8 is less than key of 7 which is again infinite. It implies we need to update the key of V7 to 8. Again, pick the vertex with minimum key not in MST set which is V1 in this case with key 4. Add it to the MST set. Here, V2 and V7 are the vertices adjacent to U. Now, we again see that the weight of edge 1, 2 which is 8 is less than the current key of V2. So, key of V2 will be updated to 8. But, on the other hand, weight of edge 1, 7 is 11 whereas the key of V7 is already 8. So, the key of V7 won't be updated. Again, pick vertex with minimum key not in MST set. Both V2 and V7 have lowest keys so you can add either to MST set. Let's add V7. V8 and V6 are adjacent vertices of V7 not in MST set. We'll update their keys following the same procedure as earlier. Next vertex to pick is V6 which has the lowest key of 1. V8 and V5 are the vertices adjacent to our U that is V6. Weights of both V6, V5 and V6, V8 are less than the keys of V5 and V8 respectively. Update their keys too. Now, V5 will be picked because it has the lowest key too among all the vertices not in MST set. Now, V5 has three adjacent vertices not in MST set namely V2, V3 and V4. Keys of all the three will be updated. Among the four vertices not in MST set, V2 has the lowest key. With V2 as U, we find its neighboring vertices not in MST set, V3 and V8 and update their keys following the same rule as always. Now V8 has the lowest key 2, added to the MST set. We see that V8 has no vertex adjacent to it not already a part of MST set. 
Thus, no keys will be updated in this case. And v3 will be picked now because its key is less than that of v4, which is the only other vertex left not in MST set. To update the keys, consider the only adjacent vertex of v3, which is v4. Its weight is less than the current key of v4, which was 10. So set v4's key to 9. Pick the last remaining vertex v4 and add it to the MST set. Note that our condition says that the procedure will continue till all the vertices are not part of the MST set. Since all the vertices are now added to the MST set, we have reached the terminating condition. Thus, we have successfully obtained the minimum spanning tree of the given graph. We can also calculate the weight of the minimum spanning tree by adding the weight of individual edges in this tree. We see that they add up to 37. Now let's analyze the time complexity of Prim's algorithm. Now the time complexity of Prim's algorithm is big O of V square if implemented using adjacency matrix and big O of E log V if done using adjacency list and binary heap. Now let's analyze the code for Prim's algorithm. This is an adjacency matrix implementation of the algorithm. Let's start with the main function. We will initialize the graph with the following matrix. The graph contains five vertices 0 to 4. Here, 2 represents there is an edge between vertex 0 and 1 with weight 2 and 6 represents an edge between vertex 0 and 3 with weight 6 and so on. Now, we call this function. Parent array stores are constructed MST. Key stores the key value of V and MST set keeps tracks of all vertices not yet included in the MST. Initially, we set the key of all vertices as infinite and none of them belong to MST set yet. Then, we set the key of source as 0 and its parent as minus 1 because it doesn't have any parent. Now, the first line in this for loop picks the vertex u with minimum key not in MST. Let's see the function. It says that if the vertex has not yet been added to MST set and if its key is minimum, pick this vertex as u. Now, MST set u equal to true adds u to MST set. In the next for loop, we check for each vertex that if graph of uv is not 0, that is, if u and v are adjacent vertices and v is not yet added to MST set. We check if weight of uv is less than the current key of v. If so, we update the key of v as weight of uv and set v's parent as u. Finally, this print MST function will be called which prints the vertex u the vertex v and the weight of edge uv for each edge in MST. Thank you for watching the video. Please leave us your comments.